Hi guys, so what we're going to do today is uh, take this clip, a uh, 10 second clip, and we're going to allow it to uh, automatically like loop without that jump at the end. Uh, we're going to use a cross dissolve and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what we're going to do is just drag this into a sequence uh, and it makes a new sequence. I'm going to duplicate this clip just by option dragging it up or you can copy and paste it. So now I have two clips, one on top of the other. I'm gonna move in uh, about 30 frames. You can make it more or less depending on what you need, but I'm just gonna type 30 here, and that puts it exactly at 30 frames in, and I'm gonna hit the M button to make a marker. Now you can see little markers here and here. I'm gonna take the uh, first clip, just move it off to the side here, and I'm gonna uh, uh, right click on it and select Apply Transition. And I'm gonna make this um, cross dissolve by double clicking it exactly 30 frames. And you can kind of see the duration is exactly 30, but if you're not sure, just type 30. And that means that you will actually cross dissolve the entire way 30 frames in. I'm gonna scooch this all the way to the end. You'll see it automatically snaps at this point. And then I'm gonna move my playhead to that first marker. Holding the shift key allows me to snap it as well. I'm gonna hit the I for in, which will make an in point up here. And if you don't see it, you can always mark an in, in point here. Move the playhead to the back and hit O for out point. And now I have an area where if it gets to here, it should jump back to the beginning, but you have to uh, turn on right here, the looping in order for this to work. The little, that little uh, wrench will allow that to loop. And so you can test it you'll see it starts to cross dissolve and jumps back to the beginning. Now you're going to see a little stutter because this last frame here is actually being shown as the first frame here. And so to get this to really work, you just select this final piece and you're going to scooch it over one frame. And the way you could do that is hold the command key down on the Mac and use the arrow key and that squishes, scoots it over one frame. Um, the windows, I'm assuming you can do the same with shortcut keys. And so now if you see it, it'll look pretty perfect. There's no stuttering and there's no double front frame. So at this point we can hit the export uh, tab. Uh, make sure you're set to uh, match source, high bit rate. Uh, make sure the source in and out is selected and not the entire source because we just want that play range. And we're gonna go ahead and hit export. Now that the video is exported, let's go ahead and look on the desktop and open it up just to test and we're going to go to uh, view loop in QuickTime to make sure that it is looping and um, we're going to look at the ending results to see how uh, the click over uh, works and you can see that it, there is a crossfade and then it jumps back to the beginning uh, and just loops uh, continuously. Um, hope this helped.